Pramod Savant uh, was on Monday unanimously elected as the leader of the BJP Legislature Party in Goa, paving way for him to take over as the Chief Minister for the second term. Uh, BJP there repeating all its four sitting Chief Ministers. Sanket has more. So yes, there are no surprises, but is this a Modi gamble? Well, the BJP has repeated all four Chief Ministers in the states that it won. But despite losing, let's, let's take a look at uh, this one by one. Despite losing his seat, Pushkar Singh Dhami has been cleared for the position of Uttarakhand Chief Minister. This could in fact be seen as an attempt to contain the factional divide in the BJP's Uttarakhand unit. Dhami will now have to win the bipoles in about six months from now. Let's shift to Goa, where Pramod Savant, again no surprise, was the existing Chief Minister, has been declared the Chief Minister again. This decision taken even as Vishwajit Rane's name emerged as one of the frontrunners. There are support of independents which have ensured that the BJP goes ahead with its choice of Pramod South. Now both these names were cleared in a meeting at the Prime Minister's residence last night. But all eyes will be on the very crucial Uttar Pradesh, where while the Chief Minister has not been changed and uh, the elections were fought in the leadership of Yogi Aitanath, but despite losing... Will Keshav Prasad Maurya, a man who was seen very close to Modi and Shah, be made the Deputy Chief Minister? Maurya was seen in a meeting with Prime Minister ahead of the UP elections. All governments have seen a very clear Modi-Shah influence. But is UP going to be different? And that is the most contentious bit. What decision is going to be taken as far as Yogi's cabinet is concerned, which has seen uh, certain sparks between the centre as well as the state. Is UP going to see a yogi government or a Modi government?